So one topic students struggle a lot is a topic of partial fraction. So we have that x. So um, the first thing we do here is that we split the fraction into parts. And to resolve this, the right hand side will look like this. A. So it is good I tell you that the expression in the denominator determines how the right hand side is split into different components. So at this point, we can take LCM here x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 1. x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 divided by x minus 2 will give us x minus 1. And the x minus 1 will multiply a. So we have also, if this expression here divide x minus 1, we'll be left with x minus 2. So we have at this point, since the denominators are equal, so the numerator should be equivalent. So we are equating the numerators now. So we have x. So now we have to obtain the values of a and b. So very simple. If you look at the right hand side, if I substitute x equal to 1, I will eliminate a and I can be able to find the value of b. So, x minus 1 is 0. 0 times a is still 0. So, here we have 2 equal to 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So, times b is minus b. So, therefore, b is equal to minus 2. If I substitute s equal to 2, I will eliminate b. So, um, 2 plus 1 equal to, from this point here, so I have 2 plus 1 equal to a, boom bracket, 2 minus 1. So, 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 times b, b will go out. So, therefore, this will be, for a is equal to 3. Now, at this point, we can now substitute the values of a and b into the equation so thank you so much for watching and if you know you found the video helpful please do not forget to like this video and also follow our page for more solutions on partial fraction